we just successfully treated Huntington's for the first time in human history. For around 1 in 10,000 people, the Huntington gene has too many repeats of the glutamine codon. And when your body turns this gene into mRNA, and then this mRNA travels to the ribosome to make protein, the protein it produces is toxic and builds up in the brain, causing neurons to die, leading to the gradual loss of muscle control, speech, and cognitive function. We've known about this disease for over 150 years, and there has been no effective treatment until now. In this groundbreaking therapy, researchers at Stanford University designed a piece of of custom DNA that when injected into a neuron and read by your body produces a molecule called microRNA which can intercept the Huntington mRNA on its way to the ribosome and cause it to break apart before it ever produces a toxic protein. But the question is how do you get this DNA into every neuron in your brain? To do that researchers removed the usually harmful contents of a virus and inserted in their place the therapeutic DNA. Then surgeons made two tiny openings in the skull to inject the viral solution into the part of the brain most affected by Huntington's. The virus allowed the DNA to enter into the cells, and when it was there, it was read by the body and turns every neuron into a medicine factory, preventing the harmful proteins from ever being made. And the results are wild. Patients experience a 75% slowdown in the disease's progression, better even than the most optimistic expectations. And because neurons don't divide, the DNA stays inside them, continuing to protect the neuron throughout its life, so a single treatment could be enough to last a lifetime. The full story of how this was created is even more mind-blowing. I did a deep dive that you can find down below. But in a twist just announced yesterday, the FDA might disallow this treatment, removing the only treatment we've ever developed for Huntington's from ever reaching patients. Why? This earns the FDA the Dr. House frown of disapproval. I'll keep up to date with this story, but if you like science that gets you one step closer to earning a slow-motion smile from everyone's middle school crush, follow for more.